Hey guys, uh, welcome to today's lesson. Uh, we're going to look at event-driven uh, streaming architecture um, in a serverless environment. Um, so on my screen, I have a quick diagram of what we're going to do today. We're going to use the Kinesis Data Generator, which we've covered in previous videos, but I will go through this, the setup through CloudFormation again in this video, albeit in a slightly stripped down version. We're going to use it to produce data, set it under Kinesis Stream of one shard, Again, there's a video on this channel about Kinesis streams and the basics on the console. If you haven't watched it, I advise you go look at that before continuing with this video. We're then going to use a Lambda function as a consumer of this Kinesis stream to take data off the stream using Python in a serverless environment and place it on or into a DynamoDB that will model um, as we carry on. So it's a it's a fairly simple design. Um, so let's just get kind of um, stuck into it. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go to the AWS console and go to Kinesis. Um, I'm working out of Ireland, so just bear in mind what region um, you're currently in. I'm going to create a data stream. Um, I've only got one data stream here already. As you can see, it's called IP streaming. Um, so we're going to create a new data stream. I'm going to keep it simple and call it IP. This time around, um, I'm going to say create that data stream with one shard. So create data stream, give it a name that's easy to remember and unique, obviously, to your account or region and account. Uh, number of shards is one. And we're going to create the data stream. So that's off and being created, as you can currently see. Um, it takes a few minutes to get up and running. Uh, so why that's... Um, taking uh, its time to get there, we'll go over to the Kinesis Data Generator. So Kinesis Data Generator is on GitHub. Um, I'll put the link in the description. It's just a AWS configured or built um, script that um, produces data to place on the Kinesis stream. So we've covered this in the past video, so I won't spend too long in setting it up, but let's go to help. Let's go create um, user with cloud formation. It'll bring you into your account. Select the region that you want to operate out of. Um, so in my case, I am in Ireland. Um, template setup, go next. It's going to ask you for a username and password. Um, don't forget what this is. So demo and give it a password that you're not going to forget. Typo in there. Um, click next. Uh, give it a, a I am rule that has permission to create all the resources. I have a full access one sitting around in this kind of demo account, so I'm just going to use that. Click next, um, accept everything, and create stack. This takes a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video here. Um, you can join me once it's done, and um, we'll carry on. Again, video on this channel, if you want to know what's going on in more detail, I advise that you go check it out. Okay, that is our stack completed. Um, if you go to outputs, you'll find a link. Click on that link. And it'll be brought to a page that looked familiar as before, but this time your um, user will be in behind. So if we go to um, the user that you just created, not forgetting the password that you just made, and you sign in, you'll be brought to a template. So the first thing you need to do is select the region which you're working out of. In my case, I'm in EUS1. Should see my IP stream. There's my IP stream. Fantastic. Again, this is a template for producing data. Um, we won't go into too much detail on this today. There is a video that covers this in my channel um, and the basics. So I'm going to put up a script on GitHub um, that should produce the data that we require if you copy and paste it in. So if I put that in and do test template, what we can see is that I'm basically creating a JSON file or payload of first name, last name, an ID, and an IP address. So that's all we're doing there. Simple as that. Again, available on GitHub. Feel free to go have a look at it. Okay, so, so far, according to the diagram, what we have is the Kinesis Data Generator set up, and we have the data ready to go, and we have the Kinesis Stream. So next thing we need to do is the DynamoDB, which is gonna be our end data repository. So if we jump back into the console, and we go to DynamoDB, and we are going to create a new table by clicking the Create Table button. Uh, we need to give the table a name. It has to be unique um, within your region. So I am going to call this IP stream. 
um, we have to give it a partition key. So the partition key should be something of high cardinality um, because DynamoDB is serverless and it splits the data up over this partition key um, to make it readily available to be queried. So in our case, what I'm going to do um, is make it the IP. So the IP is your internet address um, from a device. So there's um, it's very high cardinality. There's a lot of uniqueness. Um, so we will go for IP. So that's add IP. That's not add a sort key. Again, videos on this channel covering how to use DynamoDB. Today we're looking at this as a whole holistic, um, event-driven serverless architecture solution rather than diving into the individual services. So let's just keep flying on ahead. Um, so let's go create. That's creating uh, that table as we speak. Okay, back to the diagram. Now we have the Kinesis data generator ready to go. We have that ready to put data on the Kinesis stream. We have the DynamoDB ready to receive that data. So the missing piece is this Lambda in the middle. So the Lambda is going to be event driven. It should place data into the DynamoDB when data is placed onto the stream. OK, let's go to Lambda. I'm just going to code this into the console. Um, OK, once at Lambda, we're going to create a function. Um, give your function a name um, that you'll remember. So I'm going to call this IP streaming uh, Kinesis um, consumer. Consumer. Uh, we're going to code in Python 3.6 because it's nice and stable. Um, so this lambda is going to act as a trigger. So when data is placed under our Kinesis stream, it then lifted and put into our DynamoDB table. You need to get an execution rule. So I'm going to use an existing rule. Um, go ahead and turn your own account, create one that makes sense. I have a lambda full access, way more permissions than it needs. But for like the purpose of this demo, it's just easier to give it full permissions and then go back and take those permissions off as you see fit to work off least privilege. So let's just create one with full access and we will create. OK, now we're on the console. Um, I'm just going to type straight into the window um, rather than bouncing back and forth between an IDE and doing something CICD, even with a SAM template. It just makes more sense for me to code straight into the window in this instance. Um, I'm going to put the script up on um, GitHub so you can just copy and paste it straight in or you can code along and follow um, if you want to learn how to do it. So the first thing we're going to need is an item variable set to num. Um, the item variable is what we call a row in, in DynamoDB. A row is an item. An item is a row. So I'm just setting it to none so I have it instantiated and ready to go. Um, the next thing I'm going to use is a try and on the other side of a try we have a catch so I might as well go um, and set that up now. So our catch in in um, Python is an uh, exception. Uh, then we're going to have an exception, funny enough, um, as E. And then we'll just print um, that out as a string. So we will catch the errors as they happen. So let me just check that's correct. Exception, as E, print them as we go. Live coding never goes as well as you hope. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is call the Boto3 library. So it's going to put in a little comment um, or the hashtag. Um, this library or the Boto3 library is the Python library that lets you use different AWS services. So I'm just going to call this one. Uh, this one's just going to uh, resource resource assigned to uh, Boto. I'll do. So we know, and in this instance, it's Dynamo. So that's a wee comment to let us know. Um, we need to give the variable a name. So this one's going to be Dynamo underscore DB. Um, again, keeping it simple. It goes photo three um, dot um, resource. And then the dimension of resource. And we are going after Dynamo DB. Um, and we'll have to import photo three. Okay, so Dynamo DB photo three dot resource Dynamo DB, and now we want to assign that a table name. So assign a table we want to write to. So this is just the table that we're going to put. Um, the information into so we have a variable called table and we're going to set it equal to the dynamo 
then about db yep dot capital t for table open specify the table name so if you remember our table name um if i quickly go to dynamo is ip hyphen streaming so if i go back to dynamo db console i go to tables we should have it right there ip hyphen streaming so ip hyphen streaming if we copy that back on to our lambda console into there as such we're now using the photo 3 library to get the dynamo db resource assign a variable called table or table called ip streaming okay what are we going to do next all right so we're going to use the try block um as well so what i'll do is i'll just copy that up so the whole thing's inside a try keep it nice and neat sorry about that if we just do it this way that's us now live coding um okay so what we have to do now is actually get the records off the kinesis stream so if we quickly um go over to here um we have a little look at the amazon documentation what you'll see is the kinesis stream produces um, a json which contains records and that records has data and that data is encoded in base 64 so what we need to do is get the data element of the record set um, decode it and then insert it into our dynamo db so not the simplest of steps but also not overly complicated so just follow with me so for records for record in event so the event is the json that's passed in and it's um by our stream so we don't have to worry about this really skip path in by our stream so event uh the event is actually called records so if we just quickly flick back onto here basically what we're saying is this is the event json which is being passed in by kinesis into our method handled by aws and if we go to the record section right we need to go to the record section so for each record in the record section what we want to do is decode that data so we're going to have a variable, variable called decode called base 64 which again we're going to have to import from the above so we're going to import oops sorry typo import base 64 we're going to have to import base 64 dot 64 um, and then we need to decode this time not encode so decode decode um, base 64 so b64 decode sorry um, open up parentheses record so it's the record coming in so this element here is now here's a variable record kinesis data okay what just happened we'll cover that in a little second and then we have to decode further and this is in utf8 so utf8 again available um available on my uh github um if you just want to copy and paste but what's actually going on here so we're taking the record in records and we want to go to kinesis data decode utf8 so if we just go quickly back over here we're going to the record inside here we're going to kinesis data which is here and then what we're going to do is print that bit off so back decode decode utf here radio for the purposes of this demo don't do this in um in your production environment but what we'll do is we'll actually print out the decoded data so you get to see it as it sits um and then and that's just to give us a wee bit of an insight to what's going on it'll appear in our cloud watch logs we will be paying for it but the stream's so small it's worth doing just to give an insight um so the next thing then we have is a decoded um data dictionary so the dynamo db um actually needs a dictionary to insert data and if you remember back our kinesis data generator we are sending it um, a json that looks like a dictionary but this comes in as a string variable and what we're doing here is decoding the data into its string which looks exactly like it does here then and then from that point in time we're going to actually make it into a dictionary so we go decode data underscore dictionary json 
dot loads. It's always a bit harder typing without an IDE properly, so um, hopefully this gets right first time. JSON loads, copy in the decoded data. Then what we're going to do next is with table, which is this variable, we want to batch write. We want batch underscore writer um, as batch writer. And then what we want to do is batch writer dot put underscore item. So put item where item um, is equal to, and we're going to call it item. But in this case, just above, we're going to set that item variable that was equal to nothing. And this is just for clarity, and I'm going to take it out in a second, is equal to our decoded data dictionary. So for clarity, what we're doing here is we've got the record and the event of records. We want the Kinesis data for that record. We're going to decode it to UTF-8. We're going to print it out just to show you what's going on. We're going to take that and load it as a data dictionary. If you remember the rows inside um, DynamoDB are called items. So here I'm just giving you a wee insight where I'm going to call an item equal to that JSON, and then we're going to write it down. But actually, this is just a bit of redundant code. So if you want to think about it, it's more like this. We'll take it that way, and we'll get rid of that. So now that is complete, we have our code to so make sure you see it. So let's just run through it again and let's just double check um, everything's correct. So DynamoDB, photo resource, DynamoDB, table, table, IP hyphen streaming, for record in events, records, capital R. We're going to take the decoded data, which is base64, b64.decode, record, kinesis data dot decode, UTF-8 um, is the encoding of it. I'm going to print it out just to show what's going on. We are going to take the JSON loads of that J of that decoded data, so it looks like a data dictionary. We're going to use the table dot batch underscore writer as batch writer to put that item in our DynamoDB. Quite a lot going on there. Study the code closely, um, and and you'll get there. So the next thing we need to do is add a trigger. So a trigger is something that is going to trigger because we're an event-driven data architecture. So in this case, I'm take um, selecting Kinesis. It's my IP stream, and that is everything I need. If I add that, then you see that it appears here. We save. Okay, so IP streaming is coming on to this function. This function should write to our DynamoDB um, with the um, partition key being specified as the IP address. Okay, so let's just have one last look at this land before we go. Oh, you can see there I'm actually an indent too close so if we get rid of we need to bring that in an indent so the try is there again coding without an ide can be quite complex at times so let's just indent that in one move everything in one or copy and paste in the code from github it's, it's currently correct um so let's save that okay now we have the indent done let's go to the kinesis data generator uh let's start sending that data off and running already. Um, if we go over to the DynamoDB table and we click refresh and just keep clicking refresh, you'll just keep seeing records appearing and appearing. You can see that count going up there, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 57. So that's a really basic, and I'm just gonna stop that um, before we go and start costing a lot of money. Um, so that's a kind of basic intro to what we did today. So we just, we used the Kinesis data generator we put data on the Kinesis stream, a data stream. We use the Lambda as a consumer for that event-driven architecture, and we placed it onto the DynamoDB table, keeping everything serverless. Quite a lot of information. I'll make all the code readily available on GitHub. I'll post this lesson and the materials on my website as ever, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. Um, and I look forward to um, our next lesson together. Thanks very much.